All right, I'm going to try airbrushing dye on my leather. What I want to do is a fade uh, with this much, much darker Spanish brown. It's like a chocolate brown. It's a real pretty color. It's my favorite. Actually, it's my favorite color. And uh, I want to do the outer edges, not this edge, but the top edge, this edge, and this edge. And of course, I want to get the, the uh, welt. But I've never done this before. So I'm going to put my stain in here. Then I'm going to practice just so I can get an idea of how thick and heavy it comes out. And, uh, yeah, maybe I'll get my tripod and we can figure this out together. All right, you're probably going to catch a lot of wind noise because I got a ceiling fan right above you and uh, a fan in the window right behind you. So let's do a little bit of practice here. First, we'll go digging through my garbage. Okay, okay. Okay, I've, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do it. First thing I'm gonna do the edge. I like how it's dark around the edges, but now I'm going to fade it in a little bit. this dry and we'll be back in a minute see what this looks like I kind of like that but I got to let it dry a minute and see if it's uh, going to be dark enough that's the look I'm going for right there all right that is definitely the look I'm going for I call that a success that's exactly what I wanted now I've cleaned my little air gun out with some uh, paint thinner and what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna put a clear coat on this so I'm going to put this satin sheen in my airbrush.
Now I'm going to coat this. All right, I'm going to let that dry a minute. And uh, I'll show you the finished product in just a second when it dries. All right, I have learned how to do one more thing. I really like the fade. I've always liked the looks of it, and I've always wanted to do it. And uh, I bought this machine probably, oh, five or six months ago. And uh, I never... You know, lots of things have happened, you know, lots of things. I've been sick, uh, and I finally, finally was able to get back in here and get back to making knives, and I was so busy perfecting, or not perfecting, I don't want to use that word like I've perfected knife making, but I was so busy trying to improve in my knife making that I didn't have time or desire to learn how to do anything else. Well, I finally am happy where my knife making is at. And, uh, so I could take the time to learn how to do that. I thought it would be a much bigger learning curve than that. Okay. I like it. Okay, I got to put an edge on it. I have the two neck knives that need an edge. This needs an edge. Now I'm fixing to go to work on these three sheets here. Uh, today is Thursday. We'll see how much I can get done today. I may do another fade. Okay, well, I have three sheets. Uh, epoxy, well, not. it's not epoxy. It's, in fact, glue. As a matter of fact, I'll show you what I use. This is pretty much what all the leather workers use. And, uh, Arrow and Red are getting two-tone sheaths. Doug, uh, I can't do a two-tone with a brown sheath. But actually, since I've done this, I've figured there's got to be a way to do a two-tone brown sheath. And, uh, if I hadn't already dyed this, what I would do is use my airbrush and do a light color on the outside actually no what i would do is stain the brown up to you know an inch or so from the edge this would be brown and then come in with my airbrush with a lighter color and stain the outer edge but uh anyway brown is what I, uh, I sent you a picture of and I don't want to keep bothering you with the text messages. So, okay. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to hang it up for today or not. It's uh, 1.30 or so. I'm going to let all that glue dry hard. But I do have to take these clamps off in about 20 or 30 minutes and the reason is if I don't it leaves marks in the leather permanent marks so I gotta take the clamps off so let's sit here huh I may, maybe I'll go into my yeah I'll go into the knife shop and start putting an edge on the two neck knives I want to get everything shipped Monday and today is Thursday and I have all day Friday to do these three sheaths 
and Saturday and Sunday I can put an edge on all of the knives. I'm really happy I learned how to figure out how to do this. That's going to just add a nice little touch to my sheaths, you know. And I've also decided that I'm going to have to start ordering my die. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to have to start ordering my die in quartz because uh, I'm going through it pretty quick. And these are like eight bucks, nine bucks uh, a bottle. So, okay. That's got to be a good life right there. Napping underneath the fan with uh, somebody you love watching out over you, making sure no harm comes to you. All right, go to the knife shop, sharpen up a few knives, three knives actually, the Caddo and the two neck knives.